One of the things that's often confusing for those who are new to Twitter and especially Twitter chats is how to follow them. And it's a lot easier if you use something like a Twitter client. And this is an example of one. It's called TweetDeck. You can run it on the web or you can run it as an app in Google Chrome. And what it allows you to do, you can tweet by just clicking the button and typing in whatever it is you're tweeting. But you also have the ability to come in here and search. And if you search for a topic, anything, anything that's a hashtag or a person, you can type it in and you can search it. And you have the ability down here to add a column. And so that's a great feature because what you can do here is have a whole lot of columns. So home means these are the people that I follow and I see the things that they're saying. This is one for one of the chats I participate in, Catholic Ed Chat. Um, this also gives me the ability to add in a mentions column so I know when people are mentioning me and I can respond. A notifications, which lets me know if people favorite something or follow me and I can keep track of that. Messages is for the private messaging. And you can see that I have a lot of columns here. Um, you can even do something like this, hashtag LeQ or hashtag LeQ15. And with the capital OR, what it does is it'll find it if it has either of those two hashtags used. Um, here's LA Ed Chat, which is Louisiana Ed Chat. Um, it's for teachers the third Tuesday of every month. I have Google EDU, I have Gaff Chat, um, EdTech, Fourth Chat, iPad Ed, um, I searched the words Google Education Trainer because they talk about different things there. Um, another one, be careful of conferences because even though there's an official hashtag like SD2015, there are still people who will use the shorter version um, as kind of rebels, and so you want to make sure you follow both. And so this is a great way to keep up with what's going on. If somebody is in the middle of a chat, what you'll see them do is they'll usually post A, uh, excuse me, Q1 for question one. And then what they will do is post a question. And they have a hashtag for that particular chat. And when you tweet back, you respond with, you hit a new tweet, you type in A1, put in your answer, and you make sure you use that hashtag. The hashtag is how everybody follows the conversation. And that's what makes it possible for people to see what's going on. Um, I'm kind of scrolling back. If I can get back a little bit, I'll be able to show you some of the responses from this weekend's chat usually. And see, here you see A4. This is her answer to question four. And again, she's using the hashtag. The hashtag is the key when you're trying to participate in a Twitter chat. If you forget that, people won't see it. Because if people don't follow you, that answer doesn't appear. So the hashtag is the key to a Twitter chat. The other thing that's really nice is when I'm um, doing a particular chat, like say it's LA Ed Chat, I can open this bar and I can move this column over and rearrange. And then I can bring this around where I can kind of keep everything together and watch the conversation and monitor. Because people will often jump into other um, conversations based on things that they're talking about and it becomes a genuine conversation. You also have the ability to move things around in here. So with TweetDeck, the first time you use it, you will have to tie it to your Twitter account. But once you do that, you're able to follow everything that's going on. So this is a great tool for those of you who are new to Twitter chats and trying to get involved, or even sometimes new to Twitter and just want to see what's going on. And the hashtag is the powerful part, so make sure you're looking for hashtags that can help you as you go.